40. 50. 55. 60. 65. 70. Vierundsiebzig. Ah ja. Ah, ausverkauft. Ja. Na ja, dann. Auf Glutglück. Well, neue Turma kommen. Und wir haben eine zweite Turma kommen bekommen. Well. Okay, ich muss gucken, was ich da mache am besten. Na gut. Ach komm mal jetzt mal, Mann. Off we go. Adventure time. So, wo müssen wir denn jetzt hin? Ach, da hinten. Kein Problem. Aber ich werde schon, werd schon den Charakter finden, den wir mainen können. Oder ich drück oder ich mache meinen äh, Kneifen, ich kneife meinen Arsch zusammen und äh, baue hier DPS. Kann ich machen. Ach, werden wir sehen. Ach ja, ich weiß nicht, ob ich das letztes Mal schon gesagt habe, aber alle sind. Äh, von den Talenten Level 6. Ja, plus die drei Level der Talente. Over there! The PR Ruin Guards and Abyss Mages. Jane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. So. Did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These Ruin Guards were known as Field Tillers by the people of Conria. Field Tillers? What a strange name. Waren sie Agrarmaschinen? Also war... Also hat es... Also was hat das mit diesen tödlichen Waffen auf sich? It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Conria like to give code names to their weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the Field Tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Simon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Conria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tavat. 
500 Jahre ziellos herumwanne. Wir sollten ihn ihren Leiden an Ende setzen. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Was habe ich denn jetzt eigentlich hier für Artefakte bei ihm drin? Ah oh ja. Nicht das Beste. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald, but why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Simon can't read the writing on it. Oh, is that the script of Conria? Engulfs the faith of an enemy in flame and bring glory to her highness, the princess. What? Is that what it says? Loom of Fate's initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? Well? What's that? Is it literally a... Der Abgrundmeier kam aus diesen Ruinen. Hat das etwas mit den umgedrehten Statuen zu tun? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? Do you mean that god in the ocean? Wir konnten ihn letztes Mal nicht zerstören. Er wurde einfach von Jadamachet unterdrückt. Ist das dasselbe wie bei Davalen? I know of your past heroics regarding Davalen. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile 